Um, yeah, I mean, and I don't know that this wasn't, uh, hopefully this is not a sign of things to come as far as looking at that ticker every day and seeing all the guys that are going down, you know, and it wasn't just pitchers, it was uh, position players, and it was all real stuff, too, that's the thing, I mean, it wasn't just nagging stuff, it was guys just breaking things and, and bad pulls and whatnot, so hopefully, you know, as we get this season under us and guys have a normal off season and another good spring training, um, we can kind of get back to guys staying healthy. And up here, Claudia. Hey, Brian, this might sound a little crazy, but uh, winning three straight games in the World Series is hard. How much incentive is there to close this out here or just simply one game at a time? To do what again? Uh, winning th the notion of winning three games being tough, but how much incentive is there to win here in Atlanta? No, no, a lot. I mean, I think there's a big incentive to win every day, and, and that's kind of the way we're going to approach it. And um, right now we're coming into this game trying to win one in a row, really. And um, – uh, I don't, you know, I, don't, I think just like in the in the regular season, you you can't look ahead and and say we have to do this. We don't have to do anything but win today, the way I look at it. And, and um, I always tell guys if you know you got to win, if you want to feel like you have to win eight out of eleven during the season, what happens if you lose three in a row? Now you got to win eight in a row. So I don't think you you know that's healthy to do that to yourself. So we just come in and our uh, importance is today, and we'll do everything we can to try and win today and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, six for us back in the middle. Um, your uh, first year in the Braves organization as a player, uh, you just missed Dusty. It was right after he left for the Dodgers. Um, so when was your first interaction with Dusty Baker, and uh, what, what are your memories of that? Um, first I didn't game? have any interaction, really, until I was a major league coach, um, and, and he is a manager. Um, knew of him. He's a really great player here and had an extensive, really good career here. So, you know, was aware of, of Dusty, but never really, I didn't even, you know, met, never met him until uh, I came up as a, a major league coach. Well, the fourth row on the right aisle. Hey, Snit, uh, Freddie was talking about just driving in and what the energy and atmosphere looked like. So what was it like for you for your first World Series coming into the battery in Truist Park today? Um, well, I got here so early. It, it was still, I mean, <clears throat> I, you know, I felt it. Shoot, you feel it. You went and got in the truck at, in my house and that chill in the air and, and everything was way postseason. I'll tell you, it was really, it was a neat feeling. Um, and then, you know, you kind of look and see how busy it is with people outside the battery and things like that walking the streets. And uh, it, it, was, it was a neat feeling to know we're coming here to play the first uh, World Series game in our park. Well, the fifth row in the middle. You've um, you've spoken before about the need to get 18 innings out of your bullpen um, the next two mm -hmm. games. Um, how does that affect how you manage your way through tonight? And and do you have any more that you can say about your game four plan? No, not I don't have anything about the game four. And tonight I think we'll just, you know what we're going to start this game and go after it. If we can win it, we're going to do everything we can to win it. Worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Dave in the fourth <clears> row. <throat> um. Snit, so did I know with Solaire back? Is that a and Jock struggling a little bit? Is that a difficult decision at all, or is he so valuable as a pinch hitter that well, it makes it? Yeah, no, it's it's tough. I mean, I loved the last two games where we could get them both in there. I mean, I love having them both. Unfortunately, we can't. And uh, Solaire had some really really good at bats um, in the first two days, and um, Jock has done some of you know some of his best work coming off the bench for us. So. Um, I, I don't. It's not a bad thing because he can be so valuable in in big spots over the course of a game and shows a penchant for being able to do it. So, um, yeah, but I think you know her, uh, Jorge's at bats were you know really good in that last series too. And you're the personnel you have. It kind of makes it hard to go righty lefty like that kind of thing. It's right? now we're kind of who we are. Right? You know, it's just kind of the way we're built and it's worked so far. So, uh, Mike in the fifth row, right aisle. With uh, Freddie's upcoming free agency, is there any way to quantify his, his, what he means to this franchise, and can you envision him in a, a different uniform? Yeah, no, he means a lot to this franchise, to me personally, to our organization, to that clubhouse, our team, um, and uh, there isn't a way to quantify. I mean, just what he brings is just so important. And... Um, but we all know when this is over, we'll see. Hope, yeah, I hope he's back. But I, I don't know how all that will work. It's uh, 
not my area, really, but I'd love to have would I love to have him back? Absolutely. I think everybody in that room would love to have him back, but we also know this is a business and things happen. Uh, the row behind Bradford. Snit, uh, they're doing a tribute for Hank Aaron before the game tonight, and of course, you know, your history with him goes back decades and has been well documented. It's hard, I know it's hard to sum up, but what do you think of when you think of Hank Aaron? Man, just, I, you know what I think of is a, a, as, as much as who Hank was and what he meant to the game, I, I, I think about him as just a really, really good friend is the first and foremost that he was a good friend, was always there anytime I ever needed anything. I can remember back when when he would call me as a young manager and the first thing he'd want is, you know, how's the family doing? Can I is there anything you need? And and when I'd see him in the off season it he'd always we'd always part and it's like you let me know if I can ever do anything for you. And I I used to go in the off season sit in his office. It, you know, I'd just be bored and I'd go up and hang with him and talk. And and it was funny. It was like, I remember Cito told me one time, it's like, this guy hit 755 home runs. There's a lot of people after him, you know, a lot of people. And, but I would. I'd just go sit in his office and hang out. We'd just talk. And it was awesome. I, I, I cherish that. Like I did with Bobby in the radar room before every game. I'd go down there a half hour early just to have that time, which is the, the priceless type um, times in your life that you look back on and feel blessed that you had that with those gentlemen. Anything else for Snit? We'll finish up in the middle. Do you ever think back to your earliest days in Anderson, 1982, mm -hmm. and think about how, how far you've come? Yeah, I do. I, I told my wife and I talked about it the other night. It's like, my God, we're, you know, when after we won the, the, um, the National League, it, it's, you look back and it, it just, uh, that was a lifetime ago. It seems like, but yeah, I, I I look back and her dragging the kids all the, follow me around the southeast for years, and um, <clears throat> you know going to spring training and her showing up and the kids had grown, you know, like it's, it's unbelievable the transformation of time that I've been away, and um, yeah, it, it just kind of still blows me away to think of everything that we've been through and now we're sitting here. That's why we're so blessed and cherish each and every day of this because you're just you're never guaranteed it. And, and I'm going to enjoy it. Enjoy the scene tonight, and thank you so much. Thank you.